Today, I bring a special and scientific gift for each one of you here. Yeah, I bring the possibility of receiving health even before you were born. Yeah, let me tell you this story. A story that actually begins with the first gift of your life that I received from your parents, you know? Your DNA. Yeah, your DNA is something like this book here, where we find all of your characteristics written in your genes on the page of your book. And yes, among these genes, these gifts, you receive both. Good ones that make you healthier, and at the same time, the bad ones related to some disease. But now you must be wondering, okay, if everyone received both good and bad genes, why are some people so healthy while others aren't and develop diseases? That's actually a question of choosing which page to read. So let's go back to our book here. When we want to read a book, we have to open it first, right? And we can choose which page we're going to read. And the same happens with your DNA. Your DNA is closed, packed inside your cells, forming a tiny structure called chromatin. But sometimes your chromatin is opened, and your genes can be read, or in scientific terms, expressed. Your cells control this open and closing process by many amazing, amazing mechanisms called epigenetics mechanisms. Epigenetics does the same thing that you do while you're reading a book when you mark the best parts of the story to go straight there when you want to, you know? Epigenetics marks your chromatin at many places called histones, controlling which genes and how much of them will be expressed without changing your DNA sequence. And the most important thing is that where these epigenetic marks will be placed is up to you, to you. It depends on your lifestyle. Yeah, for example, if you practice exercises daily, your epigenetics will mark and allow the expression of the good genes and silence the bad ones, protecting you from diabetes or even cancer. But what's incredible is that these epigenetics marks can be passed on to your children. I mean, your current lifestyle can actually affect your next generations. So yes, you can give health to your children even before they were born through epigenetics. So think about that. Which gifts, epigenetic gifts, do you want to give to your next generations? Which ones? Because after all, now epigenetics can let me truly tell you that the future is indeed in your hands, or better saying, the future is in your epigenetics. Thank you very much.